Hi, I'm Gretchen with The Catholic Company, and we're here today with Father Leo Paddlinghug with GraceBeforeMeals.com. Father Leo, you recently uh, worked with a company to design a ciborium that keeps consecrated hosts separate for uh, parishioners that struggle with celiac disease. Right. Can you talk a little bit, tell us how it works, yeah. tell us your inspiration behind it, and well, yeah, just tell us about that. Yeah, Grisha, I travel all over the world, and mm -hmm. uh, particularly in America, it's a problem in America, not so much in other countries. I think it might be because of our processed foods mm -hmm. that do affect our, our, our chemistry. But uh, I, I go to these different churches, and I see how these celiac hosts, low-gluten hosts, mm -hmm. don't People don't know what to do with them, and so you've got like five or six pixes. It's the worst thing in giving out mm. communion. What is supposed to be a sacred moment is literally it's a juggling act. Yeah. And so uh, I was talking to a few priests, and I said, you know, it would be great is if we just had a little ciboria with a clip that can hook onto existing ciboria, keeping things mm. separate. Hence the idea of gift, gluten intolerant, faithful Thanksgiving. And people can watch the video online at my website at gracebeforemeals.com. But it really is the most commonsensical thing. And it has been praised by so many people, including a bishop who has celiac disease. And he oh, wow. said, now I don't have to have a separate anything. I can really symbolically have a mm -hmm. communion of togetherness, even if there uh, is a little ciboria inlet, insert mm -hmm. that can keep my host separate. We have to take these issues seriously. As a mother has to pay attention to food allergies, as a spiritual father, I've got to do the same.